check it out. The windshields are incredibly frosty. And uh, Mike is checking out of the, uh, of the hotel. Look at that. Look at all the... It's like snowing just a little bit, like little sprinkles of snow. And uh, yeah, there's the uh, frosted windshield. There's the room. We are leaving Ashland, going back to Reading today. Still frosty, just waiting for it to uh, become less frosty. Yes. Check out all the snow. Yesterday there was no snow. Yeah, it was dark, you couldn't tell. Well, there was no snow in California. This, this is Oregon. Well, there was snow, but it wasn't all over the trees like that. No, it wasn't. This is a winter wonderland. We're at the site. Last chance to hate I-5 in Oregon, and there's a sign, Oregon thanks you, come back soon. And there's Jimmy over there, so let's go over to Jimmy. And it looks like Jimmy already found it. Any trackables? No? I don't think so. Is that? That is someone's missing. If you look, it's really bright, but right over there, that's the sign that says, Welcome to California. So we're not quite in California yet, just about. So. Goodbye for now, Oregon. Oh, there's the Welcome to Oregon sign. Cool. Okay, say bye, Jimmy. Bye. Okay, we are entering California. See that sign? Welcome to California. We're in California now. Okay, we found it, but it's frozen in the rock. <laughs> we can't get it out. Where's that? I'm stepping on like ice. There, got it out. My hands are cold. Now it's frozen. It's frozen shut. shut. It probably got water. There it goes. Yeah. Cool. Got it. Okay, so we were just, as we were coming in, we saw this sign that was pretty funny. And um, I'll show it to you. So you can look out here and you can see just a field, you know? And there's a sign. No monument. Just letting you know. Nothing to see here. There's no monument here. But anyway, we will continue our journey southwardly. Back to Reading. Blah. Blah. Say, say, uh, make up a word and say it. Goodbye. Hilt, California. Elevation 3,120. Look at these old tractors. It's really cool. Hey, Jimmy, what? my grandpa builds these things. Huh? My grandpa builds these. That's a, that's a Magneto. What kind of engine is this? Is it like a... I don't know what kind it is. But I have one of these in my house. I have like three of these in my house. Look at this, Jimmy. What? The RPM is 550. That's it. Uh. Three and a half horsepower. Is there a cash? Oh, it is right over here. Somewhere around here. Look at this old drill press. Old engine over there. Lots of cool places to hide it here. Okay. This old steam engine. Saw. Old saw. 
keep off the equipment, Jimmy. Or bin. And that would turn this over here. Turn that belt, which connected to something else, which turned that big wheel, and yeah, it's just some type of processing plant. Interesting. But anyway, we're gonna look for the cash now. Oh, we found it. This is my number 600, 600th cash. It was inside of this. What's it called? The uh, State of Jefferson DeLorme Challenge. Okay. State of Jefferson, and I, I am... Think it, maybe I should put a tractor in here. You should if you had not for a while. I'm dropping the owl. Owl coin. The road warrior is going in here. We are back in Wairika. At the barrier to nowhere. Which is right there. That is an unusual cash. It's just a plastic bag. Oh, look, and then trackable. Trackables. Cool. Nice. That one was easy. But this is the barrier to nowhere. We are doing a multi-cache. Three points. And then this one says, at waypoint one, the unusual feature of the name of the location featured on this plaque. You also know one reason why Wairika is famous. And the reason why this place is weird, because it says, the Wairika Bakery, spelled and pronounced equally correct, forward or backward. So you can see Wairika Bakery. So that's the interesting feature at Waypoint 1 that we need to email to this person. Now we go on to Waypoint number 2. Okay, we're here at stage 2, and the question is, what significant discovery inspired the founding of Wairika? And you'll know one reason why Wairika is important. So. Discovery of gold. The discovery of gold. Now we need to go to stage three and find the logbook and sign it. Here's a guy made of metal. Tin man number two. We're at this cache in Wairika. I don't know where the truck is. Because we did that multi and it kind of took us away. And now we're walking around finding caches in Wairika. Getting more and more further away from the truck, I think. I don't know where it is, so. We're gonna have to just walk around until we find the truck. But we'll find caches along the way, so. Well, we'll keep looking then. We found the truck. But we could not find the cache. No, I think it's gone, because it has a needs maintenance flag, and the last person couldn't find it. So, we gave up. But we found the truck, that's more useful. We are now at one called Whistle Stop, which is like a cool train station. Wairika Western. This train track goes all the way up to uh, Portland. Frozen Pond. Uh, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna test it to see if I can go ice skating on it. Whoa! I'll throw it harder. Oh. Whoa! Sink, but it broke the ice. <laughs> it didn't go in still. Oh well, whatever. Okay, we stopped in some town somewhere south of Wairika, and we just stopped at the gas station. We found extreme dill pickle Pringles. We've never tried them before. We will try them. Record me trying. Warning: extreme flavors inside. Smell sour. Try one. There's, they're not green. Weird. Can I try one? Yeah. There's only a slight pickle flavor. Not bad. But not very good either. I prefer. They're not very extreme. No, there's like slight pickle flavor. Yeah, I, I'd prefer I prefer Look. regular Pringles. Four, five at a time. 
They sound a little, they taste a little bit like those uh, um, vinegar and uh, salt and vinegar Pringles. Mm hmm. Weird. I give them. Six out of ten cucumbers. I would say five out of ten. They're inferior Pringles. I don't think that worked. Let's do it from here. Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's black butte. Oh, oh yeah, that is black butte. All these uh, rainbow trucks, or whatever they're called. Truck village, that's what that is. Every one of those trucks is like a different color. We drove uh, past it going the other way. Yeah. yeah that's not Shasta, that's black butte right there. You might thought it was Shasta. She yeah. was raw. So we had uh, some lunch. At the Burger King. And, uh, yep. <laughs> 67 more miles to go to Reading, and we'll be finding some caches on the way. We've been finding caches all day. My hands are freezing, my feet are freezing. We've been digging in these rocks and snow with a stick for probably, I don't know, half an hour trying to find this one. It feels like half an hour at least. And, uh, and when I go like this, it sounds like plastic to me, which means it might be the container. But like we've uncovered all of these rocks. They were buried in snow. Just digging around. And he destroyed a tree. I, mean, I, broke, need a... I, I destroyed that tree in the process. Mm. Yeah. I was searching for a while, and I was thinking about giving up, but then I was like... I, I already gave up. Jimmy already gave up. I was like, screw this, I, I'm gonna go home. <laughs> but then I spent more time looking, and then I was like, well, if I give up, all this effort is wasted. Yeah, how so, are we gonna get to it, though? I think we need to move this rock out of the way. That's why I'm uncovering I don't even want to touch it. My hands are so cold that, like... I don't want to like expose it to the snow because my hands will freeze off. Literally. Look how, look, they're all red. Look how red they are. Wow. <laughs> they look even more red on the flip cam. Let's see if, <laughs> look at mine. Yeah, his hands are dirty actually. He got his hands dirty while I got my hands cold. Well, well his hands are the dirty good thing and is cold. My hands are numb so I can't feel the cold anymore. I, I my mean, hands like, are at the point where it hurts. It's not numb. It just hurts. <laughs> it's like the rock is like frozen together. Yeah, they're frozen together. You probably mark it as a find, but I want the trackable. Yeah, there's supposed to be some trackable or a couple or one, but I'm skeptical. It could just not be there. That's what I'm thinking because. Sometimes people forgot the log. Oh, there we go. Oh, he dislodged it. Separated it. And is it there? Looks like it. Yep. That's oh. it. Yay. Oh, got we it. found the geocache. Yes. So much effort. Let's see if uh, the effort was worth it and see if the trackables are inside or trackable. Oh, my or... hands hurt. <laughs> okay, here, I'll, I'll, open I'll, I'll open it like this. Trackable. Yay. We got a trackable. It's one. Whoa. It's like big. It's like a whole nother cash container. Yeah. Okay, so there's one. It might just be one. It's a lot of stuff. There's all the stuff that was inside. 